Okay, class, so here are some examples that I think would be interesting to reflect on a flyer that you're designing for yourself. So if we look at some of those examples here, a lot of them include images of themselves. So for this one, it says take your business to the next level. And then there's a location here for tickets and ticket numbers as well as their prices. The title over here, the date, the first business summit with Alex Smith. So something like this where we include either a portrait or some kind of silhouette of us would be nice. Um, this is one direction. I chose to do something that I wanted to do that was strictly typographic, that represents me. Um, but it would be nice to see an interpretation of you, an interpretation of you inside this flyer uh, in some way or somehow. This could be something like an image, it could be an image of yourself, it could be a, um, a piece of artwork that you've designed, a um, piece of design that you are currently working on. But the idea is to use that image in a flyer-like form and include the date and the location and the title of your talk or exhibit or lecture. So really think about what are those types of concepts you would like to shape your creative career around. And then that should also reinforce what kind of imagery you want to use and also how you're using the typography. So for instance, um, this one here talks about psychosomatic disorder. And the type here is shaped in a way and designed in a way that almost looks like um, an eye chart, depression cherry. So this refers back to what this concept really is. And we're talking about a specific disorder here. And the image and typography reflect that. Here we have another example, hard talk. Uh, this is Cliff Bird's business. So this is a panel discussion, um, includes a few speakers. There's the date and then the location. Uh, the title. So this is what I want to see. I want to see some kind of format where we take a look at ourselves in 2050, uh, what kind of artwork or design work we're going to be focusing on. Uh, we could just include an image of ourselves. And we want to think about how our design or creative practice reinforces this lecture or this format for this particular kind of event. So really think about what kind of an event you would want to put together. It could be something that is inspired by music, it could be something inspired by uh, the medical field, it could be something inspired by business, it could be something inspired by anything really. So really think about what it is that you want to focus on. And it should be a fun little project, um, it's going to be short. And also think about the back. Not only think about the front, but think about the back. And remember, this is going to be mailed. So think about how you fold down into thirds. What areas you want the viewer to see? What areas do you want them to see first, second, and third? And then for the back, also think about, you know, what do you want the back to look like for your address and your recipient's address, as well as, you know, areas where you want to put the stamp. So really think about not just the front, but also the back. Uh, for my front of the envelope, this was the front of my envelope right here. So you would say your pilgrimage, which is pretty much saying this is an invitation to come to my lecture. And then this would be the back of my envelope. So really think about those details for your project. Um, hope you find this a fun and exciting project and something you can focus on that deals with your own interests and also something that you should be passionate about um, in the future uh, generation and also, also the type of things that you would think would benefit others in terms of art, um, in terms of a lecture or a talk or an exhibit. So let's see what you have um, and what it is that you'd like to share. Um, and then I will see you in the next video where I talk a little bit more deeply and more details into the assignment.